It's Wednesday, October 21st, 2009. This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline, bringing you news from aquatic sports from around the globe. Well, Lu Zhiga just missed the world record in the 100 fly a couple days ago at the Chinese National, but she was not letting that 200 fly get away from her. Earlier today, Lu swam a 201.81 to crush Jessica Shipper's record from the World Championships. She beat it by one and a half seconds and improved her own personal time by more than two seconds. Now, even in this era of high-tech suits, that is an amazing drop. Listen to this. She split a 58.08 at the 100 meter mark, two seconds under Shipper's split. And she held on to break the record with a 103.7 on the back half. Alou is the reigning Olympic champion in the 200 fly. Now, speaking of stunning news, Natalie Coughlin eliminated on Dancing with the Stars on Tuesday night. Natalie's Paso Doble didn't score too well with the judges, put her in the bottom three among the 10 celebrities, and she didn't earn enough fan votes to keep her on the show. We'll try and get Natalie on our show one last time this week or soon to talk about her experience on the hit TV show. And getting back to talk of records, the results from the first annual Rowdy Gaines Masters Classic are in, and the meets host, well, he set two Masters short course meters world records. Gaines swam a 23-28 in the 50 free and 51-61 in the 100 free for the 50-54 to 54 age group. David Quiggin was the only other swimmer to set world records at the meet. He swam a 59-56 in the 100 free and a 215-39 in the 200 free in the 65-69 age group. Well, Thomas Lors and Pollyanna Okamoto, they wrapped up this year's 10K Marathon Swimming World Cup, winning once again in the United Arab Emirates. Both swimmers won more than half of the 12 races that have been swum since January. Lors added the 10K World Championship to his resume. Okamoto did not win a medal at the World Championships in the 10K, but she has clearly established herself as a top contender on the open water circuit. And that is the news for today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.